we wait. That's what we do. For 60 minutes, the driver battled out in the track. But we know our time is coming. For 25 seconds, the race is in our hands. There can be no mistakes. They cost time. We prepare, we focus, we test, and sometimes we make the difference. After Clivio Piccioni and Steph Dusseldorp took victory at the opening round in Abu Dhabi, the 2011 FIA GT1 World Championship travelled to Zolda in Belgium, where Marc Basseng and Marcus Winkelhock dominated a dramatic weekend, taking victory in the championship race. Portimao was next where Nissan began to show their strength. Lucas Lur and Michael Crum took the victory, whilst bad luck blighted their teammates Peter Dunbreck and Richard Westbrook picking up a puncture. There was plenty of action at the Saxon Ring in Germany, where both Swiss racing cars were eliminated on the opening lap. There were battles throughout the field, but up at the front, Marc Basseng's trip into the gravel allowed Christian Hohenadel and Andrea Piccini to take the win, with Aston Martin becoming the first brand to win for a second time in 2011. GT1 became the first category to use the brand new Silverstone wing for the fifth round of the championship. The arena circuit being the venue for the now infamous clash between Richard Westbrook and Stefan Mucker. After a frantic battle for the lead, Lur and Crum became the first double winners of the season. In Navarra, it was a championship race win for Nicky Pastorelli and Dominic Schwager under the Spanish sun. Aston Martin were hoping for good things in the south of France as the GT1 World Championship made its way to the Pour Ricard high-tech test track. But unfortunately, after a good start, the Hexis machines almost came together, with Piccioni spinning. Westbrook and Dumbreck retired with a puncture, allowing Lure and Crum to take control of the championship with their third win of the season. FIA GT1 then made its first visit to China at the Ordos International Circuit. A packed crowd arrived in the Kangbashi district to see a commanding victory for the Mark VDS Ford GT of Fred Makovicki and Maxime Martin. A week later, the cars were in Beijing for a street demonstration outside the 2008 Olympic Park. The weather took a turn for the worst and in the only wet race of 2011, Darren Turner and Thomas Enger came through to take victory. At San Luis in Argentina, Krum and Lur wrapped up the title in the qualifying race, so it didn't matter that they were eliminated in this massive start line shunt. Exim Bank Team China won the race, but Hexis Racing did enough to clinch the team's title. I just want to say one word. We are the best team in the world this year. To be champions now is wonderful for me and Michael. Uh, winning with the number 23 is just great. The Aston Martin brand are represented this season by Valmon Team Russia. World Series by Renault race winner Andreas Zuba will pilot the number six car alongside three-time Russian touring car champion Alexei Vasilyev. After a strong 2011 in a Mark VDS racing Ford in FIA GT1, Maxim Martin returns this year in the second Aston, partnered by Russian single-seater racer Sergei Afanasyev. It's fantastic to be here. I represent Russia and I represent uh, my sponsors and I represent Aston Martin. I'm really glad to be in a world championship. It's going to be fun and we'll do our best to fight for the title. The Belgian Audi club team WRT are running a pair of R8s in 2012. The team will be running the updated LMS Ultra model with a strong driver lineup. Audi regulars Oliver Jarvis and Frank Stippler will drive the number 33 whilst Formula 3 racer Laurence Vantor will be joined in the 32 car by massively experienced GT racer Stefan Ortelli. For us to be here in the World Championship is really, really important. I think we have a really strong R8 car and uh, we've been winning races last year, but not at this level. I think we are strong and uh, we're going to fight to the maximum for sure. The 2010 FIA GT1 World Champions Vita for One Racing Team returned to the series this year with the BMW Z4. 
Matthias Lauder, son of three times Formula One world champion Nicky, will pilot the 17 machine alongside Nicky Mayer Melnhoff. After a massively impressive GT1 debut at the final round of last season, Yelma Berman is back, racing the 18 car alongside team boss and 2010 drivers champion Michael Bartels. It's a nice feeling with the German brand um, BMW. It's also for me coming back home because when I started my career I was already for one year BMW factory driver and now um, running the BMW Z4 in the World Championship is something uh, with a very special feeling. The prestigious Ferrari brand is back in the top tier of GT racing, being run by AF Corsa. GT3 champion Francesco Castellacci continues his association with the team, driving the number 4 458 alongside Enzo Ide. XA1 GP racer Philippe Salacuada will be in the number 3 car with former FIA GT2 champion Tony Volander alongside him. I think it's a good car, good to be in, the, in this championship. Uh, I've seen some of uh, our opponents on action in these days, so I think it's going to be... Uh, tight and exciting championship. Andy Suchek and Emanuele Moncini will be running in the number 11 Sunred Ford GT as the American mark continues its association with GT1. 2004 Italian F3 champion Matteo Cressoni will be in the second car, having raced in various GT championships for the past six years. He will be joined by another Italian F3 champion, this time from 2002. Serbian Milos Pavlovic will be alongside him, making his third FIA GT1 appearance this weekend in Nagaro. It's great to be here, it's great to be part of this championship and Ford, so we're going to fight hard and try to be up front. Lamborghini will be run by the experienced Writer Engineering Squad in 2012. Peter Cox has been racing for the brand since 2004 and his huge experience will be complemented by Porsche Carrera Cup Asia champion and current world touring car driver Daryl O. Young. 2010 GT1 runner-up Thomas Enger will move from the Aston Martin to the Lamborghini this year and will be joined in the 24 car by German Prince Albert von Turn and Taxis. It feels fantastic, it's very exciting to be here in the World Championship competing uh, with such a strong grid. We are all very excited and we hope that we can compete for the, for the top places. McLaren makes its debut in international GT racing this season with reigning team's champions Hexis running two cars. Alvaro Parente played a large role in the development of the machine as McLaren test driver and he'll be joined by French youngster Grégoire de Moustier. In the number one car is Steph Dusseldorp, retained from Hex's campaign last year, and 2010 Porsche Carrera Cup champion Fred Makovicki. We are world champion in 2011 and this is a new goal with uh, McLaren to do the same as the last year with the Aston Martin and we hope so to continue to be world champion again one year and one year and one year. Alinkel.com Munich Motorsports continue in FIA GT1, running a pair of Mercedes SLSs. The driver lineup is largely unchanged, with Mercedes driver Thomas Jaeger, the only newcomer to the team, partnering Nicky Pastorelli in the number 37 car. Ex Formula One driver Marcus Winkelhock is in the 38 machine, alongside team boss and experienced GT racer Mark Bassang. It's nice to be here in GT1 World Championship with the Mercedes SLS. A great car, really reliable, and I think we have a good chance to finish in the top five this weekend. Exim Bank Team China will represent Porsche in this year's World Championship. After competing in the Asian Porsche Carrera Cup last season, Ren Wei will be alongside ex-FIA Formula 2 racer Benjamin LaRiche in the number eight car. V8 supercar driver Matt Halliday will be in the nine machine alongside 2011 FIA GT3 runner-up Mike Parisi. I am very happy and it's a great pleasure for me to be here in Nogaro. It's my home circuit, so I am very motivated and uh, very happy to be here in the World GT1 Championship. It's a big chance for me and uh, I hope that we are going to be uh, to do a good job with Matt Halliday.